Hey everybody, Keith Olson at the Trombone Shop at Schmidt Music back with another accessory review for you. Today we're going to talk about gig bags, specifically the Tuxedo Bags uh, Tanner Trombone Gig Bag. So Tuxedo Bags are made by Humes and Berg. Of course we know them very, very well in the brass world for all of their mutes. Um, but they do have a few other lines as well. One of the things they do are cases. They make some hard cases and uh, soft cases. We mostly see these used for percussion and actually the Tuxedo Bags and and a few of the others, their galaxy bags, are really, really popular in the percussion world. But they do have a few brass offerings, specifically for trombone and trumpet, that I think get overlooked a little bit sometimes and deserve a little bit bigger look. So today we're going to take a little bit closer look at the Tuxedo Tanner Trombone bag and see what we've got going on with it. All right, so the Tuxedo bags are true gig bags. So these are soft-sided cases. Um, but um, the tuxedos are known for providing a lot of protection, which we'll take a look at in just a second. Again, this one is specifically designed for a tenor trombone. Um, it will take up to an eight and a half inch bell. Um, I really wouldn't go any larger than that. Um, when I've used it, um, it will take you know up to like my Bach 42 bell. Um, it might be able to do like a eight and five eighths inch. I really wouldn't push it beyond that because it gets very, very tight and snug. But again, because it's providing some protection there. so. The exterior is uh, Cordura, which of course is the most popular um, you know, exterior fabric outside of leather that we see. And it is official Cordura. They actually even have a tag on saying official Cordura. So that's kind of nice there. Um, it does use the YKK zippers, which is a little thing, but the YKK zippers are kind of the industry standard uh, for that. And they're renowned for having you know a long life to them. They're not going to split on you, hopefully. So it's nice that we're seeing features like that. Um, so this is a gig bag design where the hand slide does go on the outside of the case. However, they provide a lot of protection for the slide, which I think makes up for the fact that we do have it on the outside versus, for example, the uh, Cronkite bags or the Fusion bags that put the uh, slide on the inside along with the bell section. So if we open up our slide compartment here, inside our slide compartment, we have a second pouch here. So this second pouch is hard sided. They've got a very thick, it feels like about a, you know, about a, you know, I'd say quarter inch or so piece of, I'm sure plywood or some similar material sewn in there. But what you get is a ton of protection. So you have that on one side and then the other side, of course, is nice and soft and plush. And then the slide actually goes right inside there like that. So you're getting really kind of double protection. Then of course the, um, the outside as well, we've got padding all the way around here as well. And so when I've used this case, honestly, I've never worried about my slide at all um, because it is so well protected all the way around. The outside is so well protected. So if something does run into it, you're not going to have an issue with it at all. Um, it does have some built-in storage with it as well. Um, it's not a huge compartment with this, but you know, you can keep a lot of your basic tools and everything with it. What I actually end up doing a lot of times with this bag, um, I actually do own one of these and I use it as kind of my go-to single uh, trombone case. What I end up doing with it is actually taking the accessory pouch from my Cronkite double bag and using it inside of here and actually works really, really nicely. To open the belt compartment, of course, we do have to unwrap the handle. Um, just has a Velcro there. I do like it's a little feature, but I do like that the handle is really well padded. Um, so sometimes, especially if I have like my my large board tanner with F attachment, which this will fit, by the way, um, you know, I like having a little bit extra padding there. And I actually sometimes get requests from folks seeing, you know, can we get something like that actually to wrap around their other handles as well? So belt compartment obviously opens like this. Nothing super spectacular inside, um, except for a couple features. First off, very thick padding. Um, I measure this out to be about three quarters of an inch thick padding. So there is a lot of protection there. Um, and in the bell side here, we do have a wooden disc as well. Now it's not incredibly thick. Um, the Cronkites, for example, use heavier wood all the way around on their, you know, on the ends, on the bell ends, um, to give it a little bit more protection than that. So. You know, I, I wouldn't really bang it around. It's it's still not a case I would put into, you know, obviously an airplane hold or somewhere where you don't have good control of it, but it really does provide a lot of protection. Like I mentioned, it will take up to an eight and a half inch bell. It's a little snug, but it will work. And 
honestly, it's, it's tall enough here where you can actually put some other materials as well. Um, I will a lot of times take like my tablet that I uh, use on certain performances and I can put my tablet in there or, or sheet music. I fit eight and a half by 11 music in there. So there is some storage in there. And like I mentioned, it will take a, an instrument with an F attachment. Um, it does get a little snug. And so I would be a little concerned if we we're looking at, especially an axial flow valve, uh, perhaps a Hagman, anything with a wider um, valve profile. Um, especially wider in terms of width, in terms of this way, I could see that maybe being problematic because it does get a little bit snug and I hate to put, you know, an excessive amount of pressure on there. But for a lot of general settings, and then of course for the small bar settings, it works very, very nicely with all of that. A couple of other features I wanted to point out um, include the hardware. Um, so it does come with a shoulder strap and on the shoulder strap, it does have nice um, metal hardware. Uh, feels like you know, hard to say, you know, some type of cast material. Uh, does come with a clip here, so this isn't gonna be easily uh, falling off of here. Um, I think the overall quality is, is very, very good. There are some little things as far as, you know, the stitching, you know, the overall feeling. Um, I think they use a little bit lighter version of Cordura. Um, there's a reason that bags like the, Cor the Cronkite bags have been so popular. There is a different level of craftsmanship that does go into those bags um, and that you can feel, you can tell with them, but they are, of course, a little more expensive because of that. Um, I think the tuxedos bring a lot of value to um, the, the game and they're a fairly good value as well. Uh, right now the tenor trombo bag is running about $150. Uh, that's today, of course. And so I think for that kind of price, there are not a ton of really great uh, gig bag options out there that you can have a lot of trust in outside, you know, under, say, you know, frankly, $300 for the most cases. There's a few. I know some folks like the guard bags. Um, Protech has got a couple of options. Um, compared to the Protech gig bag options, frankly, I have more faith than this. Um, I really do. And part of that is because I've been using it. I've had one of these bags for the past four years, and it's been a workhorse for me. I mean, this is my primary gig bag. I use it with both my small bore tenor and my large bore tenor. I've traveled with it. Um, it's good. There's, you know, there's been a few spots where just, you know, a little bit of stitching has come up, but it's not on anywhere where it really matters. It's really kind of just trim areas. Um, it's great. The Cordura's hold held up well. And so I think, again, for the value, I think they're really, really nice case options. And they fly under the radar a little bit. People don't know about them as much, but maybe they should a little bit more. So as always, I hope you enjoyed the review here. If you have any thoughts, questions about the tuxedo bags or other gig bag options, feel free to leave those below in the comments. If you enjoyed the video, consider giving it a thumbs up. If you haven't already done so, think about subscribing to our channel. Hopefully we're making videos that are interesting for you. Hit that notification button so you can see when we have new stuff coming out. And as always, you can check us out on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. So thanks for watching, everybody.